Um, next up is Daniel Reeds. Daniel Reeds is an artist, a hacker, and an engineer. He's best known as the founder of the DIY Book Scanner community, a thousand strong group developing open source hardware and software that exploits cheap cameras to scan books quickly. system 
was held up in these books, handwritten in an odd format, giant ledger format. No commercial scanner can scan these books. Dr. Joe and Dr. Cam said, sure, solar lighting is important and battery backup is awesome and we want it, but is it possible to convert these books into a modern medical record system? And it turns out that using our open DIY technology, it is. The fundamental idea of DIY book scanning technology is just pointing a camera at a document and digitizing it. People have been doing this forever, but only now do we have such cheap and powerful cameras to work with. And I believe cameras are not only undergoing a major transformation, but that cameras are also transformative. And by transformation, I mean that two years ago the cheapest cameras were cheaper than textbooks. But today, the cheapest cameras are cheaper than beer, especially beer. <laughs> and by transformative, I mean the proliferation of camera technology is rapidly changing the world. So, as I learned studying neuroscience, the retina is the first surface of the brain. There's no higher bandwidth conduit for information than the eye. There's no better way to communicate visually. But any technology powerful enough to change the world works both ways, for better and for worse. And we need to go forward with that in mind to make the best use of this new imaging power. So what does it mean to go forward? I've been giving these talks over the world, talking to thousands of people online, blah, blah, blah. Well, I took a job with the Internet Archive one of the mightiest and most open book scanning operations. Yeah. <laughs> partners them with my community. So to give you a sense of scale, the building I work in contains 300,000 books, and this is just a beta test of a fraction of their total capacity. The archive has two million books online and puts a new book online every 90 seconds. So you have together in the same building, the big guy with worldwide operations and the little guy with worldwide collaborators. And it's, it's a fair amount of perspective. So I'm going to tell you my vision, which is not representing the archive directly and definitely not making any promises for them, but trying to see where things can go. So, number one thing in my vision is a vibrant R&D community. And I think we do this well. Our current approach with two cameras, two pieces of glass, forever, it won't be the best approach forever. That's just the nature of this thing. And so we want to and always encourage people to break from the model. Uh, try crazy ideas, share the results, and go on. So we're already doing this. We have a laser-based scanning system, um, which dewarps according to laser lines on the page. We have uh, connect-based scanning systems, which turned out to be not really a great idea, but we had to try them out anyway. Uh, we have 3D printed systems, and we have hands down the best dewarping software in existence, as well as a couple of GPL licensed designs. This activity is happening all over the world. We work in Minnesota, California, at Ace Monster Toys, at Seabase in Berlin, uh, London, Brazil, the Netherlands, I found some of it just out of pocket, but mostly I, I'm just a cheerleader. I connect people, and I tell them their work is awesome, and I share it as much as I can. <laughs> Number two thing, we need a kit. Somebody needs to offer completed scanners so that people can move beyond the building stage. And for the last three months I've been doing this personally. So with cncrouterparts.com and the Leave a Little Room Foundation, I built a beta open hardware CNC panel router, which might be the last shot, and designed this book scanner with it. So now I'm perfecting this thing, which has taken a lot of iteration and a lot of, and not very much time actually, I've been working on it for about two weeks because it took me three weeks to build the, uh, the router. <laughs> and I'm making it in such a way that it can be loaded into a nascent nationwide network called uh, 100K Garages, which is all the shop pots in the US. They're four by eight standard CNC routers that are everywhere. And this scanner uh, costs an order of magnitude less than the cheapest available commercial option. So third part of the vision, great. This stuff is getting done, I'm doing it. And we're just months from getting these things all over the world. But what I really want to do is put a book scanner in every single hackerspace. Because not everybody needs a book scanner in their home, but everybody needs access to a book scanner. So I say let's salt the hackerspace with them and make them so that they can be checked out so that books which are too private, too precious, and too personal can be scanned in a place that isn't public. <laughs> Lastly, uh, I'll just cut it off here. I hope that the archive will help us get all these books online and convert them into useful formats beyond the camera images. Thank you very much.